In Jesus' name we pray. Are you ready for prayer? Somebody shout fire. fire. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom turns given in honor. Power and might belong to our God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory. Wisdom turns given in honor. Power and mind belong to our God forever and ever. Amen. I will bless the Lord and give him. Glory, I will bless the Lord and give him all the glory and give him all the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say by fire, by thunder. Oh my goodness, I can't hear my people say by fire, by thunder. One more time, say by fire, by thunder. Listen to me, we're going to be dealing with some forces within the soul. Some forces within your, your destiny. There's one thing to pray. The Bible says, Jesus says, the prince of this world cometh, But he find nothing inside of me. Some of us are very intellectual. Some of us know the Bible back and forth. Some of us, knowing the world is different. Hallelujah. Knowing the letters is different. Amen. But knowing the master himself is a whole different ballgame. Hallelujah. Many of us have, many of us need to get engaged. We need to get plugged into the Holy Ghost again. Somebody say get plugged in. Hallelujah. As we begin to pray today, amen, some of the things that the enemy has arranged against your life, some of the things are pillars, today will be dislodged from your life. Amen. There are some forces that we need to deal with today. Say this loud and clear. In my sleep, anything planted in my life while I slept. In the name of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Spirit, whatsoever was planted in my life from the beginning of this year, Please, as you hear this prayer, I want you to say this prayer with aggression. Say this prayer with all the strength you can gather. Hallelujah. Because the anointing of the Lord is upon you. Amen. Some things will begin to happen. Hallelujah. Some grace, some anointing, some fire will be released upon you. Your life will never be the same. Amen. But make sure you say this thing accurately. Amen. Some of you were sleeping and some rituals was done. Some of you were sleeping and you slept in the wrong place. You slept in the wrong bed. You slept in some things. You contacted some spirits. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes, amen, people go out and they begin to gather and they bring out some spirits. Amen. Solomon was messed up. Amen. Because the women that he brought came up, came, came with their own gods. Hallelujah. Amen. You're not hearing me. Somebody is singing. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. The hour has come for you to begin to experience deliverance. Amen. Hallelujah. The most craziest downfall and attack and warfare that a man can go through is not to really war against what he's battling against. Because there are some forces within that you can be rising and be doing your own thing. But there are forces that will be hiding for your day of your shining to manifest and to embarrass you. And this is that we are what they call weaknesses. Amen. But there are major struggles we want to deal with today. Say this loud and clear. See, every prayer killer in my life Anything planted in my life by the devil. From the beginning of this year. <laughs> Anything planted in my life to make me fail. <laughs> From the beginning of this year. From the beginning of this year. Anything that was buried in my life. <laughs> to silence me spiritually. As I begin to pray now. My father, my father, uproot it out of my life. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. By the power in the blood. Everything that was planted in my life by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I command it to be uprooted by the blood. Le graga zabrande ribebia. Irrega de 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 ribebia. satanic agenda for my life. Plotted against me. By fire by fire. Zagragadara Pakasiria. Ilegregeteria Parandaria. I command Talakadilia. Regezegaria Paragadilia. Every plan, every assignment against my life, against my destiny. I command it to backfire. Regezegaria Parandia. Let the weapons of the enemy target it against me. Every onslaught of the enemy. I command it to backfire. I command it to backfire. Let the arrow of the wicked target it against me. I fire it back. I I fire it back, I fire it back by the power in the blood. A great Zeria, Barakaziria, Baranderia, Elegrete Zegarakadoria, in the name of Jesus, and Labrazatoria. By the blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Ragazibrahanda, Ileg Ragazabraha, Igragazigria. I release the blood, I release the blood. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Every satanic strategy, every satanic network, every satanic gang up, every satanic gatherings against me. I say scatter by fire. Ragaziria Parakadiria. Rebebebe Ashandabaha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this after me. Say every covering of the wicked over my life and destiny. Catch fire. Ragazi Brantele Bohalia. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, uh, every gathering of the wicked, uh, evil covering. I say break by fire. Shanga Dabahaya. Ilegazibriata. Jederabaha. Ligrande Rebebia Baradish, Jede Rebebe Berebebia Baradi, Mabahaya, Ilibraha, in Jesus' name we pray. Every marine witchcraft walking against my glory be destroyed by fire. 
Every marine witchcraft, every rebellion, every power from the waters against my rising, against my glory, I destroy you by fire. I destroy you by fire. I destroy you by fire. Ragaziria Katebra, let the arrow of the wicked by fire. Shandaba, Ligrege Zeria, Baraka Zigria, I command every arrow of the wicked, let it backfire, let it backfire, let it backfire, let it backfire. Shandaba Haya. Mazabraka de Ribebia, Ligranda Ribebia Baradish. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the prayer? In the name of Jesus. Every network from the waters. Planning my downfall. Say scatter by fire. Ligranda Zaria Parakaderia. Every gathering, every network from the waters are against my rising. Ila Raka Zebra. By the noise, by the serene of the Lord, uh, Holy Ghost, angels of the living God, we scatter the gathering, we scatter the plan, uh, we scatter the plot by the power in the Holy Ghost. Regazigria, Beregazigria, Ilak Ragadiria, Regadiria, Baradaria, let it be destroyed, let it be destroyed, let it be destroyed. The name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. What a mighty God. I decree by the power of the blood. Every stranger attached to your life. Every satanic stranger that has been assigned against you. Every powers, every evil altars that is enchanting or calling your name. Invoking your name. You're going to pray. Say this down a clear. Say every satanic altar. Invoking my spirit. Every satanic altar. Calling my name for evil. Be destroyed by fire. Ragazigriaka Debra. Every altar. Altars in the waters. Altars in the heavenlies. Altars in the trees. Every altar. Altars in my father's house. Altars in Gragadiria. Erected against me. Calling my name for evil. I command the altar to catch fire. Every satanic altar. I say catch fire. Catch fire. Raga zebra. Ileg Regadiria. I command the evil altar. Catch fire by fire. Catch fire by fire. Raga zebra. Ragadiria. 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 Evil altar. Are bound by fire. I say bound by fire. I say bound by fire. I say bound by fire. Shagadabahaya. Ilagraga zegrahaya. Membregaderi gara. Ilagraga zondaria. Arrows of death. Fired against my life. In sevenfold. But fire by fire. Ragadere po sandelia. Every arrows of death targeted against me. I say backfire in seven folder. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. E graga zogoria. E le graga zibria. Let the arrow backfire. Let the arrow backfire. Let the arrow backfire. Let the arrow backfire. I shanda baha. E le graga zeria. I command every arrow. Oh, I'm not hearing you pray. I'm not hearing you pray. Where are the brothers? Where are my sisters? Open your mouth and turn the fire. Every arrow of death uh, targeted against your family in all directions. Let it backfire. 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 Ragaze Garia in Leranderia. By the power in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and say this after me. Say every scepter of the wicked. Every scepter of the wicked. Shout it with authority. Say every scepter of the wicked. Lifted against me and my family. Ah, Libra Habrondo Zibra Are you ready for prayer? Say this loud and clear. Say every throne of the wicked, every seat of the wicked, 
proclaiming judgment over my life. Thunder fire catch fire. I don't know if you understand that prayer. <laughs> there is a seat, there is a throne that is given to the leader, to the queen, or to the king to declare. And sometimes, how can a man have a dream? Tell asking God, show me the revelation. Why is my problem like this? One day, he began to have a sleep. One thing he knows is that he's been trying to marry this girl and something has been happening. But he saw that people began to gather. One or two people was from his classmates. And he was shocked. They were waiting for two or three people to come in. The last people to enter. And suddenly, the girlfriend entered. Hallelujah. He was trying to get married. And the last person was waiting for her to sit. And that person was the mother, the, his mother. And the mother came in and sat down. And he was about to react. The angel says, quiet, relax. And the mother began to proclaim judgment. That, daughter, tonight, you must sleep with him. And I want you to bring his manhood. He must be impotent. We want to render him what? Impotent. Ah, the mother is making this judgment. The mother is declaring this judgment on the son. And he, he, by, he by seeing this attack. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't know why. The periscope is on. Somebody's testing me and they say, is there any periscope? Hallelujah. What kind of, what kind of, uh, yes, there is periscope. Hallelujah. There is periscope. It looks like, uh, I hope I didn't log into a different place. Yes, that will not be nice. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me share this thing again. Please share it on uh, the prayer line. Share the uh, uh, periscope on the prayer line so that people can join or participate. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Share it, please. Share it, please. Share it, Lord. Share it. Share it on peri share it on, on, on WhatsApp. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So what we begin to understand is that there is a seat. There is a seat that makes decisions. There is a seat that is not compared by everybody. There is somebody that make you to make proclamation. There are other people that come as an informant when they gather. What have you gathered about such individual? What have you gathered about this person? What is the information we have? So we can really train his life. And mess his life up. And there are people that come together. They begin to make decisions. He said this, he said this. To wreck your vision. Hallelujah. You're going to pray. You're going to pray. Yeah. Can't get any wickedness against our life on daily basis, but today the power of the blood, God will destroy it. I said, God will destroy it. Oh, my people, let us stay together. Let's stay together. How many people pray for me today? How many people? How many people? Be honest. How many people? <laughs> because by now, some of you have had revelation prophetically. God will have given you a prophetic word for the man servant. If you really pray for me, God would have given you a prophetic word. Nobody have tested me yet. I said, man of God, I was praying and the Lord gave me this word. Hallelujah. Well, before the end of this weekend, I want to see that God is giving us a prophetic word. Hallelujah. Somebody say prophetic word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Okay, this is the prayer. Say this out and clear. Every seat of the wicked. <laughs> Proclaiming judgment over my life and my finances. Hmm. There is a seat of the wicked that proclaims judgment on your marriage. That every day they say your marriage failure. I speak failure in your marriage. I speak failure in your finances. I speak failure. Listen to me. And if you don't destroy that seat, they will sit down and be established and they will comfortably begin to evoke wickedness. Physically, they will smile with you. And this set of individuals, they'll be fighting physically. So there's no way you suspect them. But in the spirit, they're united. 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 You're going to pray. Say this on a clear. Say every seat of the wicked. Pronouncing judgment over my life and family. Arise and 
destroy your owner. Are you ready for that prayer? When you say arise, this is, the Bible says command your money. This prayer this morning is so dangerous. It's colossal and it's bloody. Are you hearing me today? Every seat of the wicked. Pronouncing judgment over my life and my family. As I begin to pray, I turn that seat to a grave. I turn the seat to a grave and swallow down my enemies. Let the seat of judgment be converted and be turned to a grave. Let it be turned to a graveyard to swallow my enemies. Are you ready for prayer? Upon that seat, they will die. Upon that seat, that they are releasing judgment against you. This judgment I'm talking about is not the judgment of yesterday. Sometimes, some people are held back by 36 years. Amen. A lady was confessing recently. Amen. The man of God, she, they, they came for counseling. They are twins. The man of God wanted to pray for her. And as the man of God did to lay hands on her, she told the man of God, please don't lay hands on me. The man of God said, ah, man of God, I pray. And he laid hands on her. She started confessing. Because the other sister was outside. She started confessing. She said, she held her sister in the spirit. And she put her sister, she hung her sister on the tree. And she said, until she has the, her third child, her sister will not have another child. Her sister will not be married. Until she has the third child, her sister will not progress in life. Do you hear me? Oh my goodness. I don't know if you are hearing me. Hallelujah. So you're going to proclaim this loud and clear. Amen. Every seat of the wicked. Okay. Pronouncing judgment over my life. As I begin to pray. Swallow down my enemies. Open your mouth and turn down fire. Reggae the Riyaka Zubrahaya. Let the seat and let the throne. Raka Zagriyaka Roko Priyata. Swallow down my enemies. And let Reggae the Raka Riyaparaze. In Reggae Zurande Lebohaya. Let the seat of the wicked. Swallow down my enemies. I said swallow down my enemies. Every throne of the wicked. Let Raka Zogoria. Swallow down my enemies. Swallow down by the blood. Swallow them by fire. Swallow them by the blood. I said swallow them by fire. I command them in the name of Jesus. Let my enemies be swallowed down by every throne, by every seat of the wicked. Be swallowed by fire. Be swallowed by the blood. Magraga zabara da ribe biabosh. Ilebande le babo lo babo kozumbra ha. Ilegraga ba shanda ba la ba ba ba. Ligrondo ro babo kozibra ba ba ya. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this loud and clear. Say every seat of the wicked. Ah. <laughs> what a mighty God. What a glorious God. Some of you are already feeling the impact already. Some of you are already fighting. It's feeling the impact already. Hmm. Say this loud and clear. Every voice from my blood. Ha ha ha. Hey, Kabra Baba Yabro, Jible Mendele Baby Abaradish. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Every voice from my blood. Oh, some of you are not hearing my prayers. Periscope, please agree with me. Every voice from my bloodline. Saying over my dead body will I succeed. Oh my God, oh my goodness. Saying over my dead body will I succeed.
every voice in my bloodline saying over my dead body will I succeed be silenced in the name of Jesus Legra, be silenced, be silenced Regadaria baraka zebra bebia, ijam branda raba baga bara bebia, regadere bebaga bara bebia baradish, ala gragado rebebia bara de rebebia, izagragada rebebia bara de rebebio, ele bende le bere bebe rebebe bere bebia bara di, be silence by the blow, be silence by the blow, be silence by the blow, ragada rebebia bara de rebebia, jada raba baba baga zabra baba ya bara di. Il est grec de rebebe ya baradi rebebia, rabba baba baba, baga jan de rebebia, il logra gazi graga rabba rebebia baradi. Let it be silence, let it be silence, let it be silence. By the power in the blood, by the power in the blood, il grow jambran da rika ba, zumbre de di. Zalaman de la baba baga barabebia baradish, rege de rebebe bria baro zumbra ha, la graga zaba rabba baba baga shada, il ende le baha. The name of Jesus, Sakata Bahayabash. In Jesus' name we pray. Say weak wickedness from my blood. Sitting upon my heavens. Wickedness from my bloodline. Fighting my star. Scatter by fire. Let Zagria Paragaziria. I say scatter by fire. Ragada Ragadere Gabaragada Ragadia. Irregada Rebebeca Baragadia. Irregada Rebebeca Baragadia. I say scatter by fire. Ragadaria Garagadaria. Wickedness from my bloodline. Targeted against my star. Ragaze Gria Garosa. I say scatter by fire. Illeg Ragazobraha. Irregaria Baragazia. Illebrenda Rigadia. I say scatter. I say scatter. I say scatter. I say scatter. Illagada. Illegregia. Let the judgment begin to fall. Every black area, wickedness from my bloodline, targeted against my star, targeted against my glory. I say scatter by fire. Let Graga I say scatter by fire. I say scatter by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Ah. <laughs> say strong man from my bloodline. Chasing away my helpers. Ah, be arrested by fire. Be consumed by fire. Every gadaria, every strong man, chasing away my helpers from my bloodline. Arise, O Jehovah. Let him be arrested. Let him be arrested. Let him be arrested. Every strong man, I arrest you by fire. I arrest you by fire. I arrest you by fire. Egaba, Ilagragazegariaba. Mazalamande le boko subahaya. Be arrested by fire. Be arrested by fire. Be arrested by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Every strong man from my bloodline. Using, using priest, using a demonic priest. Using blood to fight my destiny. <laughs> Every strong man from my bloodline. Using satanic altar. Using a satanic priest. Using sacrifice blood to fight me. Wherever you are, receive the judgment of God. Open your mouth and fire prayer. 
Every strong man using blood, using human sacrifice, using priest, using satanic altar to fight my destiny. My father, my father, arise and fight for me. A Graga Zekaria, a Ligria Garagadaria, every man, a Ragazagaragadaria, a Ragadaragadaria, a Ragadaragadaria, a Rabababagazikata, Lera Kuta, Laria Katuza. In Jesus' name we pray. Some of you will be released suddenly. I'm praying for that sister in Canada who has been losing things. This prayer is for you. 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 You're going to shout this prayer loud and clear and you will put her name. You put his name. Whoever name is this. Amen. <laughs> Every attack that came upon my life, as a result of this brother, you will put his name or you put her name, as a result of this person, every trouble that came into my life, Every affliction that was spoken over my life. By this person. As I pray. By the blood. Let the curse be broken. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every cross proclaimed over me by this person. I break it by the blood. I break it by fire. A granda zebra catoria. Every casa. Le granda ba. A rekederia baraka zekeria. Le granda raka zobrehe. You the curse that was proclaimed over my life. By this galaka raka zekera. The renderia baraka zekeria. The render likrata. I break it by the blood. I terminate it by the blood. I destroy it by the blood. I annul it. I avert it. I abort it. A granda zekeria. I I have it by the blood. Let Graga Zobra Cateria. Let the cast be broken. I said, Let the cast be broken. Let the judgment over my life be lifted. I command it to be lifted. I command it to be lifted. I command it to be lifted. Every judgment be revoked by the blood. Raga Zebra. Raga Zebra Gazunda Haya. You are not praying, my brother, my sister. Igaza Zadaba Kataba Labado. Librandara. Make sure her name. That person at your place of work that is reporting you, mention a name. The trouble that came into your life because of that person, let it be revoked. Let it be reversed. Let the attack go back to sender. Anybody causing me trouble because of this person, I command the arrow to backfire. Ligraga Zegaria, Elenderia Paragazia. Shanda Balaba Kazaya. Say this loud and clear. The spell that was proclaimed over my life by this person. Be lifted by the blood. When you begin to pray, you mention a person. If it is your husband that proclaimed that cross in anger, you will say, let it be lifted. Whatsoever was proclaimed over my life by Stephen, let it be lifted. If it was, if it was your daughter that proclaimed the cross, Whatsoever cause was proclaimed over my life by this person, let it be lifted, let it be broken right now. You have to call the name and say, I break it. Because why? The devil will go ahead and begin to do all kinds of massive nonsense. Because why? Either you proclaimed it, or your daughter proclaimed it, or your son proclaimed it, or your husband proclaimed it, somebody proclaimed it. And the devil want to carry that curse and fulfill it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Are you ready? Particularly if you dated your ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, you have to mention their names. Because when you are angry towards each other, you begin to make all kinds of words. In America, they say F you. While in Africa, they say it will not be well with you. Look at you, it will not be well with you. you wherever, as you go from here, any relationship will not be well with you. Those are evil proclamations. You got to reverse it. You got to avert it. You got to destroy it. Are you hearing me?
That person is singing. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Every satanic door that, that is now open because of this person or is opened by this individual in my life. Every satanic door opened by this individual in my life. As I pray, let that door be closed down by the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every door, every door, every door, every satanic door that was opened by this person, opened by this person, I closed down the door, I closed down the door, I closed down the door. Every satanic door, zobra. I close the door by the blood. Every satanic door open to satanic attack, open to satanic judgment, open to curses in my life. I break it in brasa. I close down the door by the blood. I close the door. I close the door. I shut down the door. I shut down the door. In the name of Jesus. Everybody shout this prayer loud and clear. Every door of rejection opened by my parents over my life and my relationships by the power in the blood I close down that door. Let the door be closed down. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every door of rejection opened by my parents. Uh, ignorantly, naively, let the door be closed down. La Graga Zekaria. I Graga Basigriakatea. I close the door down. I show the door by the blood, by the blood, by the blood. In Branda Sikata Ibahaya. Let the door be shut down by fire by thunder. Zanamaka Palabadilia. I shut every door. Every door of rejection opened by my parents. I close the door by the blood. 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 I close the door by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Household wickedness uh -uh. Witchcraft in my household Afflicting my body with sicknesses By fire, a graba sandala mandele me mia paladilia, a regada ria cateria, a regaza caraca de rapa bacaturia, a regada 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 ria. I said, da 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 I got paparacasia, I londra baba bogo shindala bahaya. Every household wickedness, targeting my body, afflicting my body with sickness. I said, die by fire. I said, die by fire. I said, die, 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 die by fire. I got the Bahala Die by fire. Every Powers of my father's house. Ali Brababa Rebebi Abarandosh. In the name of Jesus. Say powers of my father's house. Hey. KG my glory. Break and release my star by fire. Open your mouth and begin the fire prayer. 
Il agraba ba 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 go shanda bahaya. Il agraga de rebe bia baradish. Shanda ra ba 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 se bilis. Up your mouth on the fire. Rega de rebe de ke rebe de ke rebe bia pa. Il agraga de rebe de rebe bia baradi. Ase kalada da rebe bia baradish. In Jesus name we pray. Now I want to go to that realm of prayer. Now let me ask you a public question. What is a virtue? What is a virtue? What is a virtue? Somebody answer me. Tell me quickly. Anybody? Virtue is a unique treasure. Amen. Any other person? What is a virtue? As you respond. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people call it value. Some people call it gift. Some people call it talent. Some people call it anointing. Some people call it uh, special aura. Something special about you. A uniqueness of you. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going to pray this prayer loud and clear. One of the things you must understand. If the enemy sees that you are a potential Joseph. If the enemy sees something special about you. Hallelujah. If the enemy sees something special about you. What happens is that. When you go before your enemies, and you sometimes some people make some mistakes, they exchange their part, exchange their clothes. Amen. Sometimes they say, especially ladies, they go to a lady's house, family house, and then you go to a voodoo lady, lady who is narcotic, who always voodoo, visit voodoo priest. Amen. One of the things that you must understand that some of these girls will come to you is, oh wow, I love your hair, I love your hair, and they rub their hands around your hair, and all they have to do is to take a string of your hair. One string. And when they take that string, that's it. Once they bewitch your hair, you are you are done. Hallelujah. Amen. And and you might be very smart, very intelligent. Before you know it, you begin to see dullness begin to set into your mind. Because there is a manipulation somewhere. You are very brilliant. Amen. You excel. You shine out when you're among people. Whether it's white or whether it's black, Asian, it doesn't matter. You excel. Something about you comes out. But sometime later, it's like very soon you become dull. You don't even understand yourself. There is a virtue that belongs to you that has been captured. It's been arrested. It's been caged. You are going to pray. You are going to pray. <laughs> Say this on a clap. <laughs> Household powers of my father's house. Somebody will re get a job as a result of this prayer. I'm telling you, somebody will get their, their blessings back as a result of this prayer. Some of the things you have been losing is as a result of this prayer. <laughs> uh, even myself, I wish I had prayed this prayer myself. Amen. Household powers of my father's house. Caging my virtues. Release them and die by fire. Reke zekeriga barakazia, vekara barakadiri bebia. Release them and die by fire. Hey, evil powers of my father's house. Raka zaka raka zekeriga dia. I say release my virtues, sir. Release them by fire. Release them and die by fire. Release them and die by fire. Reke de reke de reke de ria. I reke de reke de reke de reke bebia. I say command the lakadilia. Raka zekeria. Release them and die by fire. Shanda Rabaka Sabahaya. Release them. Die by fire. I say die by fire. Evil powers of my father's house. Cage my virtues. Release them and die by fire. I say die by fire. I say die by fire. I say die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you blessed? I recover what has been stolen from my life. Some of you don't understand. When you mistake Ely, when the enemy wants to steal something from you, from your father's house, they directly cannot steal it from you. So what happens when they see a wall of fire? They say, oh my goodness, okay, we have to use something to trap her. 
Okay, let's send that boy into his life, into our life. And when the boy comes, he loves her, they are monitoring you now. And then all of a sudden you start having sex. And then you sleep, you start to take a rest. While you are sleeping, they come now because you've, you've broken the law. You've broken the edge. The snake now comes and comes to harvest your glory after you've committed the sin. The enemy comes now to take that light. All our sin has come short of the glory. And you cannot fight back because you're no more in authority. You drop your armor and they take that glory from you. Hallelujah. So now you begin to labor. You begin to see that you're now suffering. You are now in a down place. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. People have, people have gone through this circle of attacks, left and right. Every time you see a seduction from the opposite sex, it's not because you're handsome, it's not because you're beautiful. Hallelujah. Amen. You follow us, it's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be on YouTube. Hallelujah. Every time you see this kind of warfare, you're going to see this, every time you see this kind of warfare, amen. Hallelujah. You see this kind of warfare take place in your life. It's not because one way or the other. Hallelujah. You are handsome, you are beautiful when you begin to see temptations. Oh my goodness. Let me mute this phone. Hallelujah. Amen. Every time you see these temptations going around your life, it's not because you are cute, because you are unique. Amen. Temptations, when they come, they begin to show up. It's as a result. Use that as a thermometer. Understand that your blessings are around the corner. Many people don't understand this. So they go into sexual immoralities because many times when you begin to pray and you are getting close to your breakthrough, many times the temptation that the enemy will release will be so enticing, so beautiful. Amen. If you've never gotten a man in your life or you've never gotten a woman in your life, Amen. That time you are praying and fasting, that is the day that the woman will come. A beautiful, beautiful woman. You know that naturally you can't get that woman. Even a man, beautiful, beautiful, very handsome, you will just be like, wow, wow. And if you're not careful, you will just go and sleep and have sex with that person. Before you know it, two, three weeks, the guy is gone. And guess what? You are back to square one. And you think you enjoy pleasure, but you didn't know the, you didn't know the blessings that you lost. And many times, if you hold on, if you hold on, and you let go of that person. The person come and go. You just did not. Maybe you say hello, hi. But you didn't go to bed with them. You didn't go to commit nothing with them. You let the day pass. You will see the blessings that you were almost missing. Because the blessings will come. When the blessings come and they're coming down. Listen to me. If Daniel was going out of his room. Trust me. He would have gotten a lot of temptations. Because the, the prince of Persia would have sensed the blessing. The angels coming. To bring a blessing to Daniel. And they would have rang a bell in the realm of the spirit. Why he was fighting the angels in the realm of the heavens. Fighting angels in heaven from coming down on the earth. He would have sent his little servants, demons, to go and tempt or to lure Daniel. Amen. To lure Daniel so that Daniel cannot focus in prayer. Because by prayer, it meant you enforce and empower angels to fight for you. But this is the time whereby people don't understand this time and they get angry, they lose their temper, not knowing that an answer is coming for them. This is when discouragement, the enemy begins to release discouragement against you. They begin to release the voice of the enemy against you they, for you to give up. And some people, this is when they blow it, this is when they lose it. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I pray for you that the Lord will begin to uphold you. I pray for you that God will begin to guard you. God will begin to secure your portion by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Whatever ladder, whatever thing has been prepared against you, the enemy will fall into that trap in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Somebody, are you blessed today? Hallelujah. Amen. Are you blessed today? We have to really, really, really understand what is really going on. So you're going to pray this, Lord. You're going to pray this. You're going to pray this prayer. Hallelujah. Um, listen to me. When people begin to get jealous of you, Amen. With jealousy, it's because they see something that you don't see. You do, they see something you don't see. And if you don't take authority over that thing, they can they can use it against you. People who are jealous, you have to be careful of them. Joseph had brothers who were jealous of him, Amen, and they plotted for his downfall. Hallelujah. Jealousy. It's a revelation for you to understand, to avoid them. If you tell people who are jealous about all of your success, you are planning your downfall easily. You are giving them things to plan against you. Jealous people don't think right. They think negative. They plan. They plot in their mind. 
You need to take adventure in your life. Who is jealous of me? Who has jealous spirit? Don't tell them much. Because if you tell them much, you are only inviting them and seducing them to tempt you, to attack you. Hallelujah. When you begin to inform those who are jealous about yourself, about your success, and you begin to tell them more and more, more about you, all you are telling them, you are, plot, you are giving them power to plot against you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You're going to say this prayer loud and clear. Hmm. <laughs> Say this down and clear. Every ritual, every blood sacrifice, every attack prepared against me from my bloodline. By fire, by fire. Every blood sacrifice, every attack, every weapon of death targeted against me from my bloodline. Let it by fire, by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ragaza bara de ribebia, ileke de ribebeke beribebia. Every attack, every attack from my bloodline, every sacrifice, blood sacrifice from my bloodline, every attack, backfire. I say backfire. I say backfire. I say backfire. I say backfire. Rege zegeri kata. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Rega zikiri kata. Holy Ghost, let the arrow backfire. Let the arrow backfire. Let the arrow backfire. The name of Jesus. I command the arrow backfire every attack from my bloodline against me. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Shakata Balabazos. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's, let's, let's get into the world. Let's see what we can do. Hallelujah. Let's see what we can do. Ah, thank you, Holy Ghost. Yes, it's on YouTube. You can join us on our WhatsApp. I give you the number. My number is 612-701-5983. 612-701-5983. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, Lee Crows of Abaradish. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can you hear me or now? I hope my people can hear me. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. Wonderful God. Oh, let me mute this phone. Let me mute this thing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope, I hope you can hear me very well. I hope you can hear me clearly. Let me ask those on my prayer line. Can you hear me? Everyone, can you hear me? Were you hearing me clearly? Okay, all right. Let me go ahead. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, I thank God for what He's done in our lives. God, we will continue to lift us up, lift us up, Amen. Above every mountain. Hallelujah. I believe that the mountains of the enemy, whatsoever the enemy has placed over you, is crushed. Is hereby destroyed. Amen. You will begin to stand out. You begin to shine. Amen. Like a bright morning star. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. I decree that every authority of the wicked over your life is hereby broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. We bless your name, Holy Spirit. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today was a very heated prayer, but I believe that some of you needed it he probably needed it and i thank god for his strength for his anointing and for his fire and bless god for many of you who are participating right now in jesus name holy spirit be their guide be their guide hallelujah holy spirit i pray that lord you will set us on fire release a new level of power a new level of grace even as the word of the lord is being released right now that Lord, you will strengthen many of us to take us to another level in you, in another walk in you, oh God. Make us so hungry for you and for your presence. I want to teach, teach us something that um, this uh, spirit, um, a, <clears throat> amen, we must understand that rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. Father, I pray that you give us understanding. I pray that you speak to our hearts, open understanding, Lord, even as we get into this world. 
Holy Spirit, manifest your power. Manifest your presence. Kalarando Rabba Boko Shede de Baby A Paradish. Emlanda Laba Lava Baka Sombra de Bebios. Oh Rebebe Rebebe A Parade de Baby O Brodo Shodos. Yes, Lord Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 30. Second Corinthians chapter 30. Verse 8. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to read something very, very unique very quickly. Second Corinthians chapter uh second chronicles chapter 30 verse 8 second chronicles chapter 30 verse 8 now be ye not stiff necked as your fathers were but yield yourselves unto the lord and enter into his sanctuary which he had sanctified forever serve the lord your god that the fierceness of his wrath may turn away from you in Acts chapter 7, verse 51, it says, Ye stiff necked and all circumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost as your fathers did, so do ye. Hallelujah. Stiff necked. Hallelujah. Stiff necked. Stiff necked. Look at what it says in Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 6. Understand, therefore, that the Lord thy God giveth thee not this good land to possess it for thy righteousness, for thou art a stiff necked. Hallelujah. Thou art what is stiff necked. Stiff necked stubbornness can literally resist. Stubborn, stubbornness is a sin as witchcraft, is a rebellious spirit that has entered the body of Christ. Hallelujah. I see a lot of people with this kind of entity, this kind of force. Rebellious spirit. Hallelujah. Rebellious spirit. The rebellious nature that is now prevalent in the body of Christ. I don't know if um, this thing has been found in you. Hallelujah. But today, you're going to pray. And you're going to break such powers of the enemy. Hallelujah. Well, let's go to De uh, Deuteronomy chapter 21. And then we, we will flow from there. Deuteronomy chapter 21. Hmm. I read from verse 18. If a man, Father, Holy Spirit, illuminates your word today, speak to our hearts. Let the remnant of your spirit give us, O oh God, fresh manna from heaven. Father, feed our spirit. Father, strengthen us. Father, revive us. Father, empower us. Father, transform our life from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. As we hear your word, let us be transformed. Let faith come alive. Let fear be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, Spirit of God, I pray you quicken our mortal body, quicken our spirit. Let the fear of the Lord brood upon us now. In the name of Jesus, revelation flow freely. In Jesus' name we pray. The words that I speak, they are spirit and their life. Let us be filled with your life. Let us be transformed with your light. Let us be quickened by the life of God. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In verse 18, hallelujah, in Deuteronomy chapter 21, it says, If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother when they have chased, chasing him and will not hearken unto them. Then his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out to the elders of his city and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of his city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton drunkard. And all the men of the city shall stone him with stones that he die. So shall thou put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. If a man have called, committed a, a sin worthy of death, he shall be put to death. Hallelujah. Let's stop there. One of the things we see in the body of Christ, hallelujah, and this is what we see, say, many should we give unto each in ears on the last days. Amen. Many will begin to have rebellious spirit. This rebellious spirit is a sin as witchcraft. It's a, it's a foul devil that once it enters into your heart, it goes straight to your heart and it hardens your heart. Once it hardens your heart, you become stiff neck. Amen. No, uh, no amount of correction that will be given to you will ever be able to break you down. You must always evaluate yourself. This morning, the 
the Lord says, bring this world today. Amen. We are in the body of Christ now and we are heading for danger. Hallelujah. Heading for danger. Heading for danger. Heading for danger. Currently, amen. Hallelujah. If you are moving by the details of your heart and you don't have the conviction of the Holy Ghost, you don't have your conscience speaking to you about God. Hallelujah. Once the devil hardens your heart, the Bible says that God hardened the heart of Pharaoh that he might destroy him. Amen. There is one thing about, I spoke about it. I spoke to a lady and every time she goes to bed, even though she was in a relationship, by the time she wakes up, amen, she will hate her spouse. She will hate this, this person who Whoever was in her life. Why? Because the enemy came and kept on hardening her heart with rock of offense. When the enemy wants to set you up for failure, he begins to harden your heart. He begins to plant in a rock of offense in your life. And when you wake up with that rock of offense, you, you will not be able to flow in worship. You will feel like something has taken over you. Amen. Worship is, listen to me, how did the devil find rebellion in his heart? Amen. Because of pride. Amen. And when that pride begins to set in, literally you can see people's attitude begin to change. No matter what you say to them they can be stubborn rigid i mean not flexible at all because that spirit amen hallelujah that spirit needs to be killed you mean you're going to really pray today that every seed of rebellion that has been planted in my life every seed of rebellion from my father from my mother it may transfer into my life my father let it be destroyed by fire there is a seed of rebellion that causes a man not to obey god's word there is a seed of rebellion that when it's deposited inside of you you will not fulfill the plan of god because it will derail you the spirit of rebellion when it's inside of you. It will make you to complain. It will make you to rebel against authority. It will make you not to submit. Amen. When the spirit has given room in your life and is established in your life, hallelujah, you will begin to see obstacles. You will begin to see barriers. You begin to see limitations. You begin to wonder, what is going on with my life? Why is this mess in my life? Hallelujah. Amen. People begin, you begin to, you, begin, you will see that all of a sudden, it's only you that is complaining. In this church, you are complaining. In the school, you are complaining. It almost looks like you can't bow to authority because there is a rebellious force that is within you and anyone that it mingles with you begins to receive that that measure of rebellious spirit hallelujah you must examine your heart and begin to say because the thing is this you don't want the children that also has a rebellious nature this rebellious nature is a stubborn back that cannot be broken until the literal fear of the lord hallelujah that's why we always ask god lord let the fear of god enter our hearts because without the fear of god we we'll begin to go listen to me that's why you see arm robbers criminals those who do other things they have they've lost their conscience they hard walking under the hardiness of their hearts their stiff neck no matter what god is telling them they feel like you know what they, 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 they are the god themselves and they, they will come out of it hallelujah sometimes sit down evaluate yourself am i walking in a stubborn heart am i having a rebellious spirit because anything called rebellious spirit when you have a stiff neck you are as well as a witch the when god sees you he sees you as somebody who's a witch he sees you as somebody that is under a different constitution. Amen. The Bible says that you, uh, you, are, you, are, you are, when you begin to lie, it says you, you are of the devil, which is the father of lies. Hallelujah. Then all of a sudden, you switch camp. You are no more covered by God. You are no more sheltered by his presence. Neither are you covered by his presence and by, by his protection or his glory. You will begin to see all of a sudden there is a veil, there is something that is over you. Darkness begin to cover you. Everything that you do will be oozing out evil. Hallelujah. You are must identify. Once this seed of rebellion is inside of you, it will empower the enemy over your life. It will empower tormented spirit over your life. It will give, it will inform the enemy, hallelujah, that you have the seed or a rebellious seed. What is this rebellious seed? It's the forbidden fruit that Adam and Eve ate. This rebellious seed can kill the fruitfulness of God. It can kill the light of God. It can kill the glory of God. Hallelujah. It can cause you to be stagnant and stay in one place when God is asking you to move to another place. Hallelujah. The spirit of rebellion is the spirit that kills obedience. It kills and silences the voice of God. It kills and silences is the voice of God. He raises prophetic dreams. Amen. Prophetic dreams. It kills the hunger of God in your life. When the spirit of rebellion is upon you, it begins to feed you with immorality. It begins to feed you with sin. Hallelujah. Hmm. What do you call a black priest? Oh, my goodness. Who are these people who are just coming on this line and just... Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. They, all of a sudden, you begin to see the direction and the hand of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. But when you are walking in total rebellion, when you are walking in rebellion, you are walking in rebellion, walking in sin. Amen. That spirit of rebellion will begin to make you to begin to open your mouth and begin to talk without obedience, begin to gossip without reasoning, begin to make you to be fearless. Amen. But when the spirit of rebellion is hereby arrested, when it's arrested, when it's bound, when it's destroyed, all of a sudden, the fearfulness, the meekness, the nature of Christ, 
Christ will begin to descend upon you. Can I proclaim over your life right now? By the power in the blood, every spirit of rebellion, of ruling over the life of your children, ruling over your destiny, ruling over your marriage, ruling over your, your ministry, today I break such spirit of rebellion in the name of Jesus Christ. When the spirit of rebellion is projected into your home, everybody want to rebel out of authority. Nobody want to submit to authority. Hallelujah. Rebellion has destroyed homes. Rebellion has destroyed marriages. Rebellion has destroyed relationships. Hallelujah. I don't know what is happening with your life, but I pray for you that also ever spirit of rebellion that has invaded your homes, invaded your children, today is hereby arrested by the blood of Jesus Christ. I decree that the unity will begin to follow your home. I decree that the peace of God will begin to reign and rule over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of rebellion is a spirit that when you begin to speak to your children or counsel them, they will hear one word and they will come out of the other ears. Hallelujah. That is a spirit of rebellion. No matter how you beat them, no matter how you spank them, no matter how you whip them, they will not listen because why? Spirit of rebellion has entered and corrupted the hearts of the people. But when the spirit of rebellion is arrested, all of a sudden, you say one thing, they fear God and they want to obey God. I release upon you the spirit of obedience in your household by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. No one will begin to break the rule in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood, by the power in the blood, by the power in the blood. By the power in the blood. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Amen. How do you arrest the atmosphere? How do you change the atmosphere to be pleasing unto you. Number one, amen. Number one, you must go into worship. Somebody say worship. You must be a worshiper. Worship changes your climate. Worship changes your spiritual climate. It changes your atmosphere. When you begin to worship God, hallelujah. The Bible says he enthroned in our worship. He inhabits the praise of his people. Hallelujah. God comes in and the light of God is being released. The heaviness is being lifted. Hostility is being, is being removed. Amen. When there is um, 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 animosity in the atmosphere, when there is rebellion in the atmosphere, you will see tension. There will be tension in the atmosphere. Nobody wants to submit to each other. Rebellion promotes pride. Amen. Rebellion promotes pride. And when that spirit is there, no matter how anointed you are, when you talk to people who are rebellious, amen, they will rebel against you. Hallelujah. It will only take God for them to fear the grace of God upon your life. The spirit of rebellion is a nasty spirit. Amen. Somebody say nasty spirit. Hallelujah. I pray for you that the Lord will begin to secure you against this spirit. Because this spirit is a spirit that has negated, it has hindered, it has limited many lives, many lives, many lives. Spirit of rebellion, when it enters into authority, it can begin to cause people to begin to rebel against leadership. It can, listen to me, spirit of rebellion is a very, very bad spirit. And our spirit must be arrested. It has wrecked homes. It has wrecked relationships. It has wrecked families because nobody wants to submit. Hallelujah. Do you have the spirit of rebellion? Does it that seed abide in you? Does it dwell in you? You're going to pray that every spirit of rebellion that has entered my life today will be broken, will be destroyed, that the Lord will rescue you and redeem you from the clutches of hell by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I want to thank you for many of you who are listening to me. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe that from today, you will begin to receive your total healing. You will begin to receive your total deliverance. Listen to me. Amen. We give you the praise, Lord. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. How do you curtail? How do you arrest the spirit of rebellion? The Bible says that word, amen, at the entrance of the word, give it light and give it understanding to the simple. Psalm 119. Hallelujah. Thy word, have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. Amen. When you engage the word of God, you cause the word of God to dwell and abide in your heart. You read the word of the Lord. Then the spirit of truth, take the word of God and begin to replay it in your mind during the day. When you among people, God will begin to replay the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord begins to purge your conscience. He says, by thy word, well, am I purified? I am purified. I am cleansed by thy word. So by the reading of the word, by the hearing of the word, by the playing of the word of God, either through CDs or DVDs or audio or the Bible app, amen, you get your spirit cleansed. You get your spirit prepared, refined, amen, anointed, set apart for God. For men, for when the word of the Lord begins to come into your life, faith begins to arise rise in you. Fear begins to die out. Amen. The many reasons, many reasons at which the enemy, many of us are exposed to the enemy is because the spirit of rebellion, when the spirit of rebellion comes upon your life, the voice of rebellion begins to speak on you. When you begin to listen to the voice of rebellion, you know what happens is that it shuts you from listening to the voice of God. It, short, it, it causes you not to be led by the spirit. Instead, you have become, you, you've been led by your flesh. I pray for you that every spirit of rebellion, every stubbornness and stiff neck, the men that the enemy is used 
using to stop the will of God in your life, today will destroy such force, will destroy such power in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank God for everyone that is hearing the sound of my voice. I thank God for you. Today, you are going to pray to God. Open your mouth. Let's begin to pray and say, God, my Father, Lord, I have come before you. Every seed of rebellion, every spirit of rebellion, every yoke of rebellion upon my life, every yoke of stubbornness that is upon me, upon my family, upon my children, today, let it be destroyed by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, open your mouth and begin to pray. I destroy, I take authority over the spirit of rebellion, over my life and family. Let the spirit of rebellion over my life, over my children be arrested by the power in the blood. Every rulership, every rule, every voice of rebellion that has entered my heart, corrupted me. Oh God, Lord, rescue, redeem me, destroy the yoke of rebellion upon me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to ask God and say, Lord, by your mercy, Lord, separate me from the spirit of rebellion. By your mercy, separate me and my family from the spirit of rebellion. Go ahead and begin to pray. Lord, separate me from the spirit of rebellion. Separate me from the spirit of rebellion. Lord, break away that yoke. Break away the spirit of God. Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I bless God for every one of you. Your life will never be the same. You hear the sound of my voice. You, your, I say your life will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Some of you, your spouse are rebelling against you. Some of your children rebelling against you. Some of your wives rebelling against you. Today, you must arrest. Spend time arresting the spirit of rebellion. Wherever that door of rebellion has be open in your house. Let that spirit be arrested. Be arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and begin to pray. Every spirit of rebellion that has entered my household, I take charge over you by the blood of Jesus Christ. I take authority over you. I bind and arrest the spirit of rebellion in my marriage. I bind and arrest the spirit of rebellion in my family. I bind and arrest the spirit of rebellion in my children, in my spouse, in my wife, in my husband. Let the spirit of rebellion be arrested. Every spirit of stubbornness and rebellion be arrested by the blood. Be arrested by the blood. Le groba sabradi i rebebi aparandia. I arrested by the blood, the spirit of rebellion. You will not rule over my mind. You will not rule over my life. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Sagada balabado rebebebebebi ashanda baha. Spirit of rebellion. You will not rule over my destiny. I bind and arrest you by the blood. Le graga zumbra darababaya. Spirit of rebellion. Le brababa. I bind you. Mlamato lebende lebebiya. Regede rebebi abarado. Rebebe rebebi aparadeya. Shaga la bande lebebi aparadi. Ligra de rebebe rebebe rebebiya. Spirit of rebellion. In Jesus' name we pray. Spirit of rebellion will always cause a man not to be teachable. Spirit of rebellion will always cause a man to feel like he breaks away. What took, what took Lucifer? What made Lucifer not to submit to Jesus God anymore? The spirit of rebellion. The spirit of rebellion. Spirit of rebellion. Hallelujah. Amen. Spirit of rebellion is, is at play. Even if you want to submit, it, it will be hard for you to submit. You are going to talk to God. Lord, make me teachable. Lord, make me meekful. Help me to be teachable. Help me to be teachable. Help me to be able to receive correction. Many people cannot receive corrections. Hallelujah. Help me to be able to receive correction and to be teachable. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, teach me. Help my children. Help my husband. Help me to be teachable. Lord, help me to be teachable. Help me to be teachable. Help me to be teachable. Lord, help me to be teachable. Lord, help me to be teachable. Help me to be teachable. Mangrondo Zabarandayas. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I thank God for many of you. You are blessed, wonderful. Amen. You will always be remembered. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Shall we, shall we, uh, shall we, um, anybody have uh, anything to say before we go? Anybody has any, anything to say? Hallelujah. Beautiful, beautiful. Amen. Praise God. I don't know why some people, somebody, I know somebody's going to write a huge check very soon. I can sense it in the spirit. No, I, I'm serious. I sense it. One, two, one or two people, I, they're going to write a huge check very soon. I just heard a whisper. Hallelujah. I, and I pray for you that you'll be one of them. I say you'll be one of them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah, somebody said, mm -hmm, it don't matter. Mm. Uh, don't miss that miracle in Jesus' name. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. Your life will never be the same again. So, somebody say prophesy. I, I, I will not prophesy. One, one, one or two people from you have to prophesy to me. One or two people have to get a word of the Lord for me. Hallelujah. Somebody has a prophetic word for us in this season. And you are holding back the prophetic word. Amen. By, to, by tomorrow on the prayer line, I'm going to ask and demand a prayer word from you. Is that fine? So today, what is your assignment? Go and pray for me today. Hallelujah. What is your assignment? Amen. So how many of you really will be honest to say, I, will, I want to go pray for Pastor Behiri? And write it down, what the Lord will tell you, okay? Because God will speak to you. Amen. Hallelujah. And they communicate with me. I will know who is very spiritual and who has the answer. The Bible says God... Uh, um, 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 the king told uh, Daniel, go and pray. I won't tell you my dream. Go and pray. The Lord will tell you. And Daniel got the answer. Joseph got the answer. And they got promoted. May, may you be one of them that will be promoted in this season. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you. The Lord loves you and the Lord keep you. The Lord causes his face to shine upon you. May you excel by the power and the blood. Everything you do will prosper. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Love you now. Be strong now. Go, go and succeed. Let your light shine before me. Amen. Amen. Love you. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. God bless you.